Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Logics. Today, we're exploring a game-changing gadget for your network setup, the TP-Link PoE Splitter. If you've ever faced challenges in powering non-PoE-compatible devices like Wi-Fi cameras, IP network cameras, routers, or other gadgets, this little device might be the solution you've been searching for. Let's delve into how this gadget works. The TP-Link TL POE 10 our splitter smartly separates data and power from a single Ethernet cable connected to a PoE enabled switch or injector. It converts the incoming 48 volt power into a lower voltage, offering selectable options of 12 volt, 9 volt, or 5 volt. This provides two outputs one Ethernet port for data connectivity and a DC output jack for powering devices. This functionality allows non PoE devices, such as IP cameras, routers, and modems, to receive both power and network access through the same cable, simplifying installation and enhancing flexibility in network configurations. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the PoE splitter with a Hikvision Wi-Fi camera that features both LAN and DC ports but isn't PoE enabled. We'll connect it to the PoE switch, integrating it with the IP camera network setup. However, you can also use it exclusively for Wi-Fi cameras or other devices. This setup enables the standalone operation of the Wi-Fi camera while providing both LAN data and power from the PoE switch using the TP-Link PoE splitter. Let's begin by integrating a Hikvision Wi-Fi camera, equipped with LAN and DC input ports, into your PoE switch network. This setup allows the camera to connect seamlessly with the PoE system's LAN network. The animated diagram we're discussing illustrates the setup, which uses a PoE splitter cable between the camera and a PoE switch. This arrangement separates power and data transmitted over a single Ethernet cable, enabling non-PoE compatible devices to utilize both power and data without needing separate power connections. Using a CAT6 cable, you can achieve power and data transmission over distances of up to 328 feet 100 meters, when using an 802.3 AF compliant PoE switch or a 48V power injector. Note, the TP-Link TL, PoE 10 R splitter offers selectable output voltages, 12V, 9V, or 5V, to meet your device's specific power requirements. To ensure optimal LAN and DC power distribution up to 100 meters between the PoE switch and the PoE splitter, it is essential to use a high-quality CAT6 cable. A reliable CAT6 cable minimizes signal loss and interference, allowing for efficient transmission of both power and data. This quality connection not only enhances the performance of your network but also helps maintain consistent functionality for connected devices, ensuring they receive adequate power and stable data connectivity throughout the maximum distance. Setup Instructions To begin, Connect one end of the CAT6 Ethernet cable to a PoE port on the PoE switch. This action supplies both data and power through the cable. At the other end, attach the cable to the PoE splitter adapter's Ethernet input. The splitter serves as an intermediary, dividing the incoming power and data into separate outputs, making it compatible with devices that do not natively support PoE. Next, Connect the LAN port from the splitter to the camera's Ethernet port to facilitate data transfer. The DC output from the splitter should be connected to the camera's power input to provide the necessary electrical power. This setup ensures that your camera receives both network connectivity and power through a single cable, simplifying the connection process. Note, when the PoE is connected to the splitter input, the green light will blink slowly. This indicates that the splitter is receiving power from the PoE source. Once you connect the output device to the injector's LAN and DC ports, the green LED will become stable, confirming that the PoE splitter is functioning properly and delivering both power and data to the connected device. This visual cue provides reassurance that your setup is working as intended. Importantly, this method is versatile and not limited to a specific camera brand or type. Any camera supporting a DC 12V, 9V, or 5V input with an Ethernet port can be integrated into this setup. This flexibility allows the incorporation of various camera brands and models into your existing surveillance or network system. 
supported devices can communicate effectively with a network video recorder, NVR, a personal computer, or mobile applications, facilitating remote access and control. Using a PoE splitter cable provides an efficient way to power and connect non-PoE devices to a network, reducing the need for additional power sources and cabling, thereby simplifying installations and enhancing your network setup scalability and manageability. Finally, as demonstrated, the camera is successfully powered and connected to the internet through the PoE switch. You can confirm this by observing the blue light on the camera, indicating that it is receiving power. If you found this video useful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Your contributions help us create more informative content and ensure we can continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether you like the video, share it with others, or subscribe to our channel, every bit of support truly makes a difference and is greatly appreciated. Thank you for being part of our community.